Hello. Test, test, one, two, one, two, one, two. Test, Winter, can you hear me? Nope, I have uh, no idea what you're saying. Alright, you're solo casting, I'm out, peace. Lich is first ban. That's nice. All, that's all I care now. <laughs> nice. First so ban, Lich. Lich is not the most exciting here to cast, I'm gonna be honest with you, Winter. Like It is exciting to see a Lich get level 25, that is just what you said previously. I would like to see that, I'd never, I haven't seen it in a competitive game. That doesn't make me want to see more I'm, Lich I'm, though. I'm not, uh, not on board on the Lich yet. I'm, yeah, I mean, it, it can be good, but I think there are ways to play around him. Lich can be punishable. And like uh, for me, against Cloud9, if you pick Lich, you're going to worry about uh, Enchant coming out and <laughs> making your life hard. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, Night the Stalker, night, Lycan. The Night Time combo, Night Stalker, Lycan, so what other Night Heroes do you need? <laughs> A Slark. <laughs> <laughs> Slark Drow. Who so, are the other Night Vision Heroes? Basically, what other Night Heroes? Uh, Luna? Winter White and Luna. Five Support Luna. And you get a moonshot. <laughs> Night <Nightly. laughs> Oh gosh. You're getting, okay, man, man. This is the morning winter. We're meant to get like loopy at the end of it. Uh, the start. But, you know, classic combination. Night Stalker, Lycan. Turn on the night. Then Lycan gets the double HP buff with the Howl. Yep. What's what's been going on with Cloud Nine? Yeah, they're one and seven. They're bottom of their group. What's have you caught much of their games? Uh, they've been picking very, I don't know, like they're playing very differently with uh compared to the other teams. They have been like, um, Lich plus uh, Night Stalker, Lich plus Tree and Protect. Like they have been picking heroes that uh, people don't pick, and the way they, I don't, I'm not sure. Like the support duo has been the biggest uh difference between the other teams. The support duos that they pick. I mean, the heroes that they pick, like some of the teams are picking yep. too, but the combinations of heroes, I think it's the biggest difference. And and Envy has been, you know, helping his team sometimes a little too much, I feel, and okay. disregarding his own um, his own economy. Like usually, you see him higher in terms of net worth, but some games he's been, he's been moving a lot. Like, you see this move that he makes in most of their games where he's level 6, level 7, he moves away from his lane to gang, like he's a Lycan, he tries to use his ultimate or a jug, then Aoi will be farming the lane. That's what uh, I think has been uh, happening in tr a lot of their games. Uh, trying to give, uh, they're trying to have like a four-man farm team, and Palai there will be like, you know, remember the tweet, Peter? Why is the Lich buying the four star <laughs> and the draw? <laughs> yeah, <buying. laughs> uh, why is the draw buying the four star and the Lich buying the shadow? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Was it Peter or Fear? That was I, saw someone, yeah. I saw someone tweeting. Fear Doto. Um, I think they won that game too. Was the the, the funny thing too? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Uh, again, it, I don't think there was a flame intended. I think it was more just like a, this is a team that does unexpected, bizarre things with their picks, their draft, sometimes their play. They're very unpredictable. Often working in their favor. Sometimes yep. leaving you so scratching your head, a bit baffled though. IGS Knicks uh, opening with the puck, and they removed the TA DK. Those are two heroes, better heroes against the puck and the Knicks. Very difficult mm -hmm. for him to pressure. Uh, but I think Cloud9 here probably gonna build like a like a push draft with the Lycan, yeah. like some like maybe a like, I I kind of like feel like the Visage Lycan is some like a pretty strong combination. I, I like that combination together. AUI plays a great Visage, but he's probably but gonna he's, be on the Night Stalker. But he's the Night Stalker. Yeah, player. I don't know if Pilot Eye plays it. Shaman, there we go. Push. Uh, okay, this is a similar like it's coming push. out. I mean, if you're IG, you're gonna be thinking deep uh, push. You've got. Puck already, so you're doing okay. You haven't like put yourself. No, in we we corner. should we should not count hundred percent that the Night Stalker will be on Aoi because I've seen them run off the Night MSS, Stalker. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. could be possibility for them if they feel the need of picking another position for hero. They also so for IG, you don't want to go too greedy with your your draft here. I imagine wave clear team fight. That's yep. what you need now. The troll perhaps is going to be the carry choice. Sven would have been good uh, with the high armor, and he actually comes online at, like an okay time to stop the push. Um, because how fast he can farm, but yeah. with him bad, maybe it's troll. Mm, I kind of like maybe the Tinker. I know that this team Ooh. likes to play Tinker. Tinker. They would against... have to do Puck off lane. Yeah, but... Puck off lane, Tinker mid. Uh... Yeah, I think I kind of like wave clear against this kind of lineup. Or yeah, you yeah. just, or you just uh, go down another route. If you don't want to wave clear, you pick team fight and you just clash. They should take the Visage. Visage from Mill is great at killing the the Shaman wards. That true. That too. Um, Venno could also be good because Venno is very good against uh, Stalker yeah. and Shadow Shaman. Right. You, the same thing. You kill the wards yeah. very yeah, easily. You can kill the Shaman wards. You can actually hold your base pretty well. You can't slow the Lycan. That's the issue. <laughs> no. 
Lycan will be really, running at you. Yeah, uh, burning hero. They could put in a support or an off lane role. Mm, no, I don't. I don't like support. I like it on a core role, either off lane no. or carry. What will it be? Dazzle. So they're just going to pick up their support for now. Mention that, like the a hero like Sven with the high armor being good. This is that kind of hero that's going to just give everyone some armor because yeah. physical damage is all Cloud Nine really have right now. No cheese. There's a Husker for peanut. <laughs> There's a Sven. Huge armor. Yeah. Against the Shadow Shaman. Yep. Yeah, that would Dazzle Sven, I think, would have been a pretty good combo here. Let's see what else they have in mind to put with the Dazzle. The Troll being one of the big ones, I think, that stands out. If you get like, some of those early fighting Weavers or Avengers mm. that Burning sometimes play. If they want to go for their offlaner, maybe like uh, Legion. I know they like Legion. Oh, yeah, that's actually. Those are the heroes that are pretty good against Lycan. Lockdown. Mag Troll. Mm, I don't like Mag so much in a way because. Uh, he takes. I mean, I guess they have enough wave clear. They just, if they go for mag troll, it's gonna be puck and mag with the wave clear. Dazzle has some wave clear. Maybe they can hold, because mag is a slow hero, like a slow pace hero. It's not like he's moving slow, but the pace of the game that he's yeah. playing is slow. He's, he needs his team to kind of be self-sufficient while he gets his blink dagger yeah. up. And he's not very good in the lane, so he's not a pressure hero early on. Yeah. Very greedy hero. That's why you don't see him too much nowadays. Is there any chance IG go fast pace himself and do like a Drow Puck type draft? I mean, it's not a, the best Drow game. It's not good Poss against Night Stalker Lycan. Possible, but, but it's not good against. Yeah, it's not good against Lycan. But if they have a good start, they could theoretically snowball but from I there. I don't really like that against Lycan. Yeah. To sure. be frank, I think it's quite difficult. It's very difficult to play Drow against Lycan. Very, very difficult. Death Pro. Oh God, Cloud9. So the push, the push, I mean, push, push is push. real. <laughs> wave clear. We need wave clear or we go for team fight. Team fight would be like some uh, tight crawl or, or void. So basically, the idea is like you chrono and you kill all your ravage, and you immediately remove the DP or shaman. This, this is the kind of key yeah. heroes. I feel but like re regardless of what they, their damage is quite do, lacking. They need some team fight here. The damage is still quite lacking. They still got still got some core heroes to be picked up. You know, I haven't seen burning heroes. Because yet. if they go like a void, so it's a mid puck. Um, Dazzle doesn't do too much damage. Nyx is okay with the mana burn. Not, not like, not like he's gonna do a lot of damage early. Like when he gets his levels, then he's gonna do some damage. Terrorblade. So they're gonna There's damage, but push. This is like, uh, because uh, the other team, despite having heavy push, they don't have like a uh, very good. Their wave clear is like DP. The other heroes like Shadow Shaman is decent. It's okay, but like a nice talker, not very good at defending pushes. I can see uh, maybe a faceless void last pick working for them on tight, yeah. Because we have the TB. Yeah, yeah, I like the tight a lot. Yeah. Is it here that can kind of just walk in and not worry about the silence or the shackles? Uh, I kind of maybe like the void a little more because void you have that, you have the like a kind of you kind of have a dagger already because of the jump. You kind of have the tool to initiate. When a push comes, so you don't necessarily need the dagger. Is how I look at it, maybe. Like they're gonna be uh, walking at you. I I, I mean. But yeah, I, some I don't know. I think I, I think it's quite useful to have because like let's say you're trying to chrono like a DP, you kind of have to j more or less jump. Like, it's not that easy. You're not gonna be able to walk up and just chrono him or like a ravage. I I feel like if they had like a maybe a Kunkka instead of the Nyx, then yeah, I'd be like yeah, Void with a a Kunkka would be absolutely fantastic. You got some good team fight synergy there, but. The damage in the chrono is okay with the puck TB, but it's not like a instant follow up yeah. from a big you, ultimate. You think about it; it's actually going to be quite, maybe a contested hero. Both teams they are lacking the position three, like big team fight control to protect their. Like both teams are trying to push. When you're trying to push, you're going to want the big team fight control. Oh, so they ban out one of it. Yeah. The Enigma. So the void. I don't know if Enigma would be great because that's a bit more farm intensive than some of the other than, than like the void. But or Enigma the is like very hard to like. They, their heroes can't really stop him from farming. And maybe they are worried about if the game stretches out long, Enigma is going to be really good against. Like later, he just they can't stop Black Hole right with their heroes. Yep. BKB Black Hole, and that might be like a huge thing. So they remove the axe. They're worried about the counter to the Shallow Grave. Fair so enough. they they yep. ban that. Um, oh, the, yeah, the Dazzle TB, of course, the combo we didn't even really touch upon. This ensures Grace that Thunder. TB can get the uh, yeah the Sunder off when he's so low. It's going to be the tight still in the end. Suck it, Winter. I just like I mean, they're similar. I just like the void more. What's wrong? What's wrong with having uh, a preference? Yeah, no, I'm teasing. What well, Cloud Nine will get the void? You know, they'll 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 do your. But I I, I like the I, I like tight against I, I like to play that tight against the void more because uh, uh, I feel it's easier because like no one wants to go first and then tight you have bigger AOE with the ravage so I feel it's easier for you to do your thing. 
do. Oh, uh, this is the type. They do a lot counter. of. Uh, they hate the. Wait, who MSS is the no? Doom, it's okay. gonna be. Oh, oh no. Okay, I was thinking maybe Aoi would play the Doom. Yeah, I was thinking that too. He played it once already, and he's. Uh, that done was it against in the, past. the anti mage. He was. Uh, yeah, it was against the anti mage game. What was it again? Uh, I can't remember who, but they picked Doom against AM. Yeah. They are flexible on where that Doom goes. I've seen AUI play some very scary roaming Dooms, where he's just one mid nope. lanes off of it. But. Not exactly. That kind of how he, I would describe, I would say a very greedy and very fat. <laughs> oh no, but he ganked a lot. Like he would, he ganked the mid lane. I remember last time I saw him play, it was like just ganking the mid lane constantly. Yeah, but uh, he always strikes me as a support that's always fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> always very fat. He has changed his play style a bit. Like I, I feel like he takes that like VP esque approach to mid lane where what Lil does with Night Stalker, where he camps mid, he's going to do that with Night Stalker. Or what Solo does with the Ogre, he does that same thing where he just secures the mid lane. And Some, sometimes he plays the safe lane. The games where uh, I don't know if you watched the game where he was on Trian, okay. uh, he was playing the safe lane. Did they have the? That was with the Lich though, I guess, who was not playing the. Safe yeah, yeah. Lane. Lich was playing the off lane. The Trian was playing. Yeah, 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 that's correct. He'll play the safe lane if they have like a pilot at Lich, or like an IO, um, and they have. Uh, they don't have a safe lane support. So I think overall both teams have quite uh, solid drafts. Uh, they have their own ideas um, how to play the game. Uh, team fight. I think both team have has like. Good team fight, Ravage, Coil, and then on the other hand, Cloud9 has the DPLT, Exorcism, the Doom, the Shaman Wards. It's gonna come down to a lot of uh, how the laning phase goes, and how much damage does the Night Stalker do in the first two night phase. I always talk about that. First two night phase extremely crucial for the not opposing team playing against Night Stalker to not take too much damage. If you take too much damage, then it's gonna be very hard because if they do a lot of damage in the first two night phase, they're gonna get the tier one, tier one, tier one, and rush very easily with their heroes. Yep. Then it will be very hard to fight after that. See the early wards going down. Nyx is spiked up. They see the tide coming in. Wait. Killing him is. He might be in trouple though, Shackle. Possible. They're going to have he a spirit trouble. siphon for some extra I think slow. He's, dead. he's just dead. How damage? Can he get away from this one? Seems unlikely. Uh, one more right click. Envy gets the first he blood. He already took. He took Kraken Shell to try to survive, but wasn't enough. Oh, well, he got caught in a very deep position. The shackles at level one is just. A huge, huge disable, 2.75 seconds and 120 damage. Yep. <laughs> very strong spell at level 1. And having Death Proper there being a very unexpected hero to suddenly appear. As a result, IG are going to go walk in and contest. Night Stalker is here though with MSS, so they can kind of fight this one. And you know, IG quickly realized like, oh crap, we can't actually do this. MSS doesn't skill up any offensive spells as he uh, does when he gets I, I level 1 I think they were figuring that the DP would take the bottom room because some yeah. teams, I've seen some teams do this. I think LGD, Forever Young, those two teams, they did it. They, you know what happens here, the deep, like the DP say the DP will go bottom rune and they will give the offlaner the top rune. Yep. So the two, instead, because they, they feel like the offlaner needs the rune more than the, the general thing is the mid takes the top rune and the carry takes the bottom rune. But some teams feel like it's better to give it to the offlaner. UI coming in, securing some CS. At mana burn, CP, <laughs> intelligence hero. Yeah. Have fun! This is uh, this is life against Nyx. It's gonna all oh. be life against Night Stalker as OP oh. does not have an orb. One more right click is gonna. Oh, it's just this! Oh! Okay, Dota does not want you to get that kill. <laughs> oh, boy. That is brutal. Not gonna go back to base. I think that's a south coming. Actually, I don't know if he wants to even actually use not, it. Actually, not dying might be worse. Uh, he has to walk all the uh, way. But he's not gonna walk. He's gonna okay, he has a south. Okay, yeah. it's not too bad. Because if you have to walk all the way back and then only TP out, that's actually quite bad too. <laughs> because since first bird was already spilled, then that wasn't first bird. Sad tight hunter at bottom being zoned by highlighted shaman. Yeah, shadow shaman is very very powerful now. Level one seventy four damage. <laughs> The new nightmare of the offlaners. So get hit by an anchor smash, so lose some of that damage advantage, and is being bullied back now by the tide. But does need to be a little bit careful here. Is there just look be a at the damage. Look at the damage. Look at the HP going down every right click Shadow Shaman does. So this game, Envy's helping. like you said, very mid focus. Both of the position force are trying to try to find a way to create an advantage for their mid laners. The most contested lane right now, and the offlaners are just left to you get whatever you can. No help for you. But comparing their CS right now, Doom seems to be doing much, much better than the Tide since Tide died once. And yeah, constantly getting zoned here, Pi. And he has the Satyr creep, so he has the healing aura. Oh, this is gonna help him a lot. Here comes the rotation. 
Boboka. Kind of baiting this one, Bavoka. Gonna try and get some turnaround kills here. Pyalai die. Needs to be careful. Bavoka gets the two men's stun. Doesn't really have the damage. Maybe with this mana burn, but Pi doesn't actually have mana to burn and do damage <laughs> with. Well played, Pi. Use that mana. If he had some mana there, it could have been close, but. Yeah, could off. have been. I think he, he, he would have Andy, killed him if a, he had mana. What a bro. He but he gives him the stun and clarity. Clarity and Mango. Huh? Actually, no, I think Pi had his own clarity. Okay, he gave him the salve and a Mango, though. Uh, what a bro. What? He's like, you, I mean, you gotta get back, you know. Pi just did all that work. I have never gotten a carry that treated me so well. You know, pop. Yeah, I would maybe <laughs> give my Sal, but the mango, I'd be like, bro. <laughs> yeah, Sal is understandable, That's but he mango. gave the mango. Yeah. Okay, commended. Jackie Mao. Nice guy. You mentioned he's been maybe fighting too much and helping his team too much. Yeah, I, I did say that. He's that, playing that's, that there is, that's okay though. That's not even just acceptable, but commendable. So state of the lanes, great. Doom definitely getting way more than the tide. So I think off lane comparison, uh, C9 victorious in that department mid lane, quite even I'd say. Yeah, Puck has pulled back a little bit on CS, yeah. lucky to so have not died. C9, mid middle is 50-50 and C9 is winning the other two lanes. So, yep, doing good, cleaning department. Pilot I knows this tide Mike, wants to go back in jungle now. My face is kicking in soon, so that's going to be something that C9 might look to take advantage of. Yep. Oh, which which, link, so which link can he tight. kill with the night base? Yeah, probably either the mid or top again. Or maybe even go, go poke on the tight. Yeah. yeah, poke on the tight. <laughs> Make the tight even more sad. Tight doesn't have boots, so it is definitely doable. He's gonna try to... But if he doesn't use his orb, I don't think he can kill this guy. Top Unless the... All the howl actually saves MSS. Ooh. Oh, he's the last right click burning barely gets it. That howl usage almost enough. We've seen teams really coordinate with the how to. Oh, the tide might be in trouble here. Invis, Palai die. That is the dream rune. Oh. Did he realize he used the Anchor Smash? May be able to check from his experience gain, but. Uh no, Nice Dogger's coming home. Okay, yeah. I think he's dead. He's gonna finish this creep. <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, he wants this creep. Uh... Nice Dogger has to wait for the creep wave to pass. Does actually run into the courier though. Now he knows. But he's dead. Knowing. Is oh, this Night Stalker is not another. having a good game at all. He's getting manhandled by the two supports yep. the whole game. And not looking too good right now for IG. Uh, losing two of their lanes and breaking even only in the mid lane. Yeah, looking to perhaps bait the puck. Nyx is in the neighborhood, but three Radiant Heroes coming. The Night Stalker looking to use that night time. As the Boker just swoops in, mana burns and will run away. Here comes Doom as well. Four Cloud9 heroes collapsing on mid. Definitely time to back off if you're IG. Looking at their vision, they do they have a mid? They know the heroes are here, yeah. This yeah, they had, they had a ward uh, on the cliff at bottom, but okay, it did uh, so expire. They probably understand that there's four heroes. Do they have TP? Deza has TP. Terabit, no TP. Tight, no TP. So only plus one coming in. The Dazzle. They see Baboka. They've got night yeah. vision here. They're well, just going to look to they, dive. They're just looking to force the top lane because they're all mid. TP is going to push top with the meta and Dazzle will TP if they need to. This is still it doesn't good. have metamorphosis yet though. Good reaction. Still good reaction um, by IG. They have a siege creep. This is the timing. They Cloud9 so good at making these moves when they have these siege creeps coming out. But still, IG is making the most of it yeah, on they, the other lane. They also have a siege creep, like you say. They are uh, getting at stuff out of two. Oh, they've actually got the initiation on oh, mid. Oh, here got, comes the Dazzle. Highlight die goes down. In comes Dazzle. Oh, the, the shockwave. Time. Well, instead, go for the save on Baboka, but he's going to pay for it with his own life. And I imagine Baboka may die as well. He barely gets away. The Impale helping him out, yeah, but he's he going to get chased. Dead. AUI has one. Oh, there's a shrine. Okay, he's Gucci. He's fine. Oh, he guessed with the shockwave. Did not find any. May actually still be get focused down here. The shrine was there, but no mind on AUI to use a void. So one tower apiece, but I would say C9 got the better tower, the mid tower here. Yep. The mid tower is very important because it opens a lot more access point for the stalker. Interesting they actually went in and bursted. I mean, they, they got the kill on Pi to start things off, but it just felt like IG were going to we're gonna lose that one and I not mean, fight they, it. They, they already knew there was four heroes there, so I I don't think it, it can be counted as like a... Sub oh, they didn't know there's so many yeah, heroes. Yeah, it was yeah. a risk they took to thinking they, they could get the kill and Yeah, they normally survive. knew that they were at the numbers disadvantage yeah. there, but they still went in. They had the, the Dazzle. Oh, Lycan, ultimate. They get the kills on bot. Definitely going to be a Dazzle kill. Question oh, is, tight can they get tied? Die too? I think he's dead too. My stalker's gonna run him now. Yeah, he's dead. Let's use that anchor smash, perhaps. Not even gonna look to use it there. There's no oh, escape for this him. This is really, really bad for them. 
and he will TP himself out of there. Um, Boboka is behind enemy lines, but three heroes here. Yeah, might be able to get his kill. Needs to land this. Oh, good dodge. Wow, good up. juke. Well played. There is OP's dream coil though, so he still cannot TP. He's gonna just TP after yeah, this. TP, right? Oh, 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 he should not. He probably shouldn't have done that, yeah? Yeah. Hindsight. <laughs> he thought, okay, that dream coil's used, nothing else to cancel, right? And pales down, but Carapace on the Spirit Siphon. Uh, maybe he felt like he needed the life drain yeah, to TP. The, TP the metamorphosis, I, I feel like he may have actually died before the yeah. TP went. Metamorphosis not, not a big is a deal, lot yeah. of damage. I think he still would have died. Yeah. Too much damage. Top lane, they are going to try to bully the tide once more. Poor tide. And I'm that Kraken. He's like, where's that Kraken? Uh, Why the full shackles? The Kraken comes after the shackles ends. Oh my Poor god. Tide. The whole game, bro. It's running. Pylai died. He's, I'm sure he's dead. He's got. He? He's. I actually know. Envy can't catch Tide, him. Tide can't reach him. Yeah, but Envy's I mean, the. Oh! Ooh, that heal. <laughs> Envy did, did not do the, the math. And by math, I mean just clicking the heroes and seeing the movement speed. 350 movement speed on himself, 350 on Tide. He was not going to catch up there. I thought Doom was going to be able to get the, <laughs> the last blow. He had a Hurl Boulder, I guess he just... Oh, he just got that now. He, he, he tried the Shockwave, but... Yeah, the Shockwave. Yeah, didn't kill him. And the Shockwave, after the heal, was enough to keep him alive. Envy now is going to focus efforts on this top tower, but TB did take bottom, following up the kill on the Death Prophet, so... Yeah, TB is really fat now. RG. Yeah. He got the last hit on the Tier 1 top and the bottom, so he got two towers. His team not doing so well, but he's going to be... He's, he needs to do a lot of like work for his team right now. He has been given a lot of space. C9 has been destroying the other two lanes. Oh, another Shackle. And Shadow Shaman. Pi has been I am Shadow Shaman. Very... I like the build as well. Very aggressive build. Shaman, like sometimes yeah. you see the 2-1-2. Two, two. I think uh, a lot of the players do that. This you really have mana for your, your Hex until you get the... Uh, you, 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 the you, you, you want one point because... Just in case in certain games there are certain heroes that you need the hex for. Like, yeah, but I like do agree TV the <laughs> yeah, I do agree the mana cost is yeah. very, very high. And with this build you actually have a solo kill potential because you can trap, shackle, the level two shackle, you do a lot of damage. You can kill like a lot of core heroes. Boca level six vendetta. This is a pretty fast level six for him. Didn't even need that ten minute experience to him. He's scouting things out. But mm, this is a very difficult team. Tide is nearby they need more Ravage. They need more people. This Perhaps the Tide is that more people. But Ravage could come out for this one. Oh, he, he got the Scorch. Uh, not good. Ravage can be thrown. Pi does not get caught. They still okay. get the kill. Doom has the little baby. Dooms. To the here Tide they go. Yep, here comes Vata. We'll see if he needs an Exorcism. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. XXS, great. Oh, he has up, the stun. Uh, the Doomlings, they still have the stun. <laughs> the Spirit Siphon will bring him down. That was actually. Uh, I'm not sure if it was worth that worth though, the Ravage drop. Uh, now, so C9 should be... A, if C9 gets a tower now, I think then it would be really good for C9. Yeah. They've they got have, the Exorcism, so... Mm, but Shaman is... Is a book coming? No, the book is... Uh, the Tomb of Knowledge is in base. Uh, I think the concern is if... Um, uh, Burning comes actually, to fight with Metamorph. You know, I think what they should do here... They should just let the Shaman... He's get the Solar XP here. I think... He, I don't know, I think he should be having enough. Yeah, these three creeps, the four creeps here. Yep. He should get level six, pop his arcanes, yeah, they should be able to take his tower, I think. With uh, Burning's Metamorph, they get another Nyx Vendetta, it could be dangerous, I feel. They've got one Yeah, sentry. but Ravage is down, so I think they... And it's still night time. Yeah. It's more like a Nyx Vendetta Impale with TB Metamorph, since they will kill that Death Prophet almost instantly. Mm. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Might be too risky. They get the Surf Mords up. We'll see if they look to find the Pi's actually going to just TP home. Yeah, it's too risky, refill. yeah. You're right, you're right. It's too risky. They haven't seen Burning in a while. They know Metamorphosis is back up. Or oh, unless he's been Maybe using it to jungle. Maybe they can do Roche. I think Roche is also possible. They just hit yeah. Roche with the Shaman. And the, but they need to use... They probably need to use two of the ultimates for it. This is a team that loves to take... Yeah, Envy is, one on. of, Envy, Envy is one of those guys that's really, really good at taking... Oh, yeah. Are going Roche? Yeah, they are. Exorcism being thrown up by Fata. Can Boboka get... The shaman. No, he can't kill him alone. Yeah, he can't. Oh. He, he sees the shaman coming though, so they know they're going to be at Roshan. This yeah. is good scouting info. They realize what's going on. Can they fight this one? They need the Terra Blade if they want to do so, but... No, they can't without Ravage. I don't think they can. Yeah. You don't want to fight into the DP ulti and the shaman wards. Well, they 
scouted out with the illusion, but like you said. I think once the Roshan is done, they should know that oh they they even though they got the Roshan, oh, but they, they are weak because of the two they ultimates. They weave them, they're gonna be very weak because of this. Maybe out of fight. Uh, Roche will go down. The question nah, is do they, they want to fight? They can't, they can't, they can't. They need to wait out the Altis and fight in another area. They fight yeah. in another place. Well, if they want to smoke up now and fight, there is no exorcism, TB, no serpent. TB boards. can push her tower now right yeah. away. You, they, that's the thing. This Aegis does not give C9 like an immediate advantage. Considering two mi two minutes ultimates. later, they will have an advantage once the DP Altis up again. Yeah. But right now, IG have Metamorph, they have Ravage in 20 seconds. Theoretically, they could push, but it seems like they're happy to farm. They're also mm. at a point where Tide is still playing catch up. They're pretty good. Puck wards. is also quite poor. Look at their wards, uh, Parker. They have three good wards down the enemy territory, yep. so they should be able to look to utilize this to abuse the enemy. They're trying to find picks, but the uh, the scan actually caught a movement into the jungle, as does this sentry observe. Yeah, they should look to push a tower. They should not sit tight and farm. Yeah, TB's already there. They they realize what what went down. C9 is smoked. I don't know how easily they can fight, but Boca gonna pop it though. No sentry, no dust. Oh, Boca could just oh, go and no. fart and he's not got the Aegis, he's he not the Aegis. silence yeah, off, yeah, but okay. I don't know if he can survive his way through this one, the burst damage is going to be a bit oh, too much the he needs the Sundo, who can he Sundo? Burning, there we go, he gets it off on the MSS, oh, he gets Doom now, but it's perhaps a bit too late, he may actually still go down, the damage output is there, Envy's going to chase him down, the Puck silence up goes down, Burning, doesn't have a Sundo, he's going to die oh, even with the Grave, and what a good turnaround from Cloud9. Death Prophet just being able to survive with that Spirit Siphon for that oh little bit gosh. longer. I totally underestimated how strong the DP was there. Yeah, she was he got a triple Siphon. <laughs> if they killed Death Prophet like instantly as they were supposed to, the they big thought they could have killed her instantly. They too. didn't get the Impale. She silenced the Nyx before the Impale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that doesn't happen, if anything, they should have just gone for the Impale without the, the Nyx Vendetta damage because that it was the fact he got silenced and then triple Spirit Siphon came out. Yeah, but that's Boca why really messed up there for the team. I mean, shit happens sometimes. So right now, <laughs> <Ravage> <laughs> shit happens. You lose a Dota game, no big deal. It's just Ra twenty-three million dollars. Uh, Ravage is yeah. <laughs> Ravage is down. Metamorph is down. This is their farm time, and they should uh, right now. They should stick close to each other. Try to shuffle the lanes and avoid fighting. Nick should be probably try trying to scout and get whatever information they have. It was quite unfortunate though. Look. Look at their ward, they had a really good ward there. I thought they had a really good fight going on for them, bottom lane. Yeah. And DP and Shadow Shaman, two ulties down. It really feels more like the, the execution than anything. Yeah, I think, I it, think, I think it was the right It was the right call for them it's to go for that play there. Curious Snipe, the Boca, I don't know if he'll get away though. He needs uh, to find a way to Even shoot. if he dies, I think it's okay. Yeah, he's being... Yeah, it's okay. He's very, very dead here. Yeah, he's okay. No worries. Say that. Can't TP out. Space, I guess. Oh they no. Should know there's a Tide is there. in trouble. Yep. His pipe doesn't have a sentry right now. He's pinging it, saying there's probably a ward somewhere. So now their ultis are back out. They can take any tower that they choose. Yeah. So not much not quite IG. Not their, much IG can do now. Yeah, their peak of their pushing really comes with the Necro book, but even without it, Exorcism Serpent Ward's more than enough to take these tier twos. Perhaps for high ground. And, and that's the reason why, like I, I remember I said I, I prefer the the void in these kind of games. Because if your off lane doesn't have much farm. In that situation the void could have jumped because you, you don't have a dagger you don't need a dagger. You could have jumped and got your corner off first. But Tide had to walk in to get the ravage. So that was that was a that was quite a huge difference there. Having the the fight over the type. Take the tier two. They didn't even have to use an exorcism, and they smoke towards bottom lane. Perhaps looking to catch IG by surprise on the split push, but uh, IG take the wave and they not have back. quite good vision around that area. Though, so if, when they see no one around, they might be able to sniff out or maybe use a scan soon. They just catch OP on the dazzle, which is not the kill they were hoping for, uh, but it's a kill nonetheless. This is like okay, you die, you lose, you lose a life as a support. It's so they see three. It's information. They see three heroes here. Oh, so they they know top is a lot, like yeah. one or two heroes only. Envy and Fata could be in a vulnerable position, but there's no Nyx Vendetta to initiate, and that is the big and thing. And they here. have a ward here. The ward already scouted them. Yep. Out. They see the puck coming in. Envy may still be in a bit of a tough spot here. Has a TP scroll. He has ages. And has ages. More importantly, yeah. And all the TPs. Cloud Nine already. They smoked bottom. They didn't TP there, which means they can regroup. And it looks like they want another tower. No Serpent Wards, but Exorcism available should lead to this Tier 2 going down. Fata did manage to get to the level 2 ultimate. 
So another tower gonna be claimed by C9. Uh, that IG can just try to. I don't think they can fight at all. They don't here. even need ultis for these. Things. Yeah, they can't fight at all. They they just they can only try to farm whatever they can and get more items. Stay. I think they're gonna need the TV to get a BKB. Pro uh, but BKB doesn't help against the. I don't know. It's very hard to itemize. I guess you don't buy BKB. Just go damage. Yeah, standard Manta. Manta scared. Scared. Yeah. yeah, good damage. Get stats. Not sure if he can buy BKB this game. Because the silence are still very annoying. You know? They have a lot of dis double silence. And they have a lot of disables. Quick pick and out. This is the game IG want to play. Find a pick and then yeah, get for, the hell for out of now. there. That's what they want for now. But. Aegis will expire. Gives them a small little window. Okay, not be so as afraid. Once C9 get their Necro Book, oh, they're gonna be very. Sh there's gonna be a very strong push coming. Necro Book. Next version uh, is really Next wary. night phase is in two minutes. He's gonna pop his ultimate at uh, what? Yeah, around 1910. You pop your uh, Night Soccer ultimate. Yeah, that's when the game will become very hard for IG. Oh, IG with Aegis down, they actually wanna kind of push and fight here. They're mm. grouping up at this bottom lane. Perhaps you, they've got this vision. That's the big thing. Fight around your vision, Winter. Dota yep. 101. <laughs> MSS TP's in, instantly gets jumped, they want to burst him down, he got the Scorch Earth off the Ravage, it's good, it catches, oh, only caught one, Fanta does it with the Yules, but he's still in a terrible position, he's going to go down as a result, the Serpent Wards are there, but this should be Mince Meat, and Pilei die, he TP'd in, he can't get out of this one, he's trapped yep. in the trees. Dora 101, Parker, they see Play. them, they kill them first, they got the jump first. That ward means, MSS thinks he's TPing in a fog, this tree spot's a very common place to TP where you think you can be hidden, but the ward gave them vision, they get the initiation and suddenly IG are actually threatening high ground. They may not get Raxi, but a tier 3 tower. As long as they've got Metamorphosis up, they can push very fast and... Oh, they're gonna have to Glyph. Where's the Glyph? They're oh, no to... Glyph. Oh, they don't have Glyph. Okay. How much oh, longer no. are Metamorph? They've got this another is... 10 seconds. This is gonna be a Rax. This is gonna be Rax. They may die on the retreat, but it's gonna be worth it regardless. We'll see what damage Cloud9 can do. Are they even gonna be able to engage? It is daytime is a big problem as well. Night Socket doesn't have ultimate. If it was nighttime, they could actually chase and punish this one. They yeah. are still looking to chase. Here he comes used, Fata. He used their ultimate before, but I think, oh, I, I think DP can fight into yeah, this. Yeah, IG may just lose a lot of heroes here. They need to probably just start sacrificing some, and it's going to be... Yeah, Ty just walks in says, I'll take this one for the team. Burning is the one who needs to get out, really. Dream Call used to cover the retreat. Burning has a TP, needs to find a way to use it, though. He's in trouble. Should have maybe used it a bit earlier on. I think they wanted to retreat as a team. Gets to. They lost three. It's definitely worth it because they got the racks. They're even going to get this uh, range oh. racks, it looks like. <laughs> Maybe if the creep. The Nyx is still fighting Paladai. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> he cancelled his TP. So, okay, but I think it's still okay. They got a full lane of racks. I think oh, it's, it's fine. IG, they were in a, worth it. They were losing yeah. just they, now. They could have gotten more heroes out. Like, they, they didn't want to TP out because as soon as one hero TPs, you ditch your yeah. friend. So they're like, let's not TP, let's retreat together. But the problem was, they got Some, chased Somebody out. had to die there, like, regardless, because they were in a very bad position yeah. after committing for the Rex. They, they realized too late, and then at that point, XXS was like, I'll be the bro, I'm going to run into five heroes. He <laughs> ran into five heroes and started casting TP. <laughs> that was the best part about it. <laughs> yeah. It's not just that he ran into five. He then said, cancel my TP, guys, use your sucks. <laughs> But Burn that was the correct move. Yeah, yeah. The, the big issue was that Burning just needed to ditch his teammates, but he didn't want to. Too much of a bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is very much a team mentality where they know, like, you, you ditch your teammates, they're going to die. But at the same time, they were in a position where they were going to die regardless. I mean, that's why you must think about what you have to do to win the game sometimes. Not just, I mean, being a team, good teammate is nice, but sometimes you need to <laughs> ditch to win the game. Mm -hmm. So they're going to smoke now. Um, Ravage is up. Metamorph is up. If they can get a good fight, could mean that they get Roshan. Roshan is up very soon. So this is important. They're going to scout the Rosh first, probably. No, uh, nope, Not just going to go for the fight. They have a... Uh, do they have Bling on tight? No Bling on tight yet. I uh, know there's no Doom. I think that was the one thing Burning did get on his retreat was that Doom cooldown. So trying to fight while Doom yeah, is down. Yeah, and they're playing around with... Uh, they got a deep ward here. This ward is going to be very useful. Rosh is being scattered by the Lycan Wolf. It's gonna be three minutes of night time plus another ultimate from the stalker, so about, about four minutes. Yep. So a lot of night time approaches yep. and Doom will be back up now. Yeah, but because of the Rex, now the game is quite even for the, yep. for IG. 
Necrobook 3 just about to be completed for Envy. Yeah, help things a little bit. And it looks like IG really want this T1 mid. This will definitely help them secure that potential Roshan. Metamorphs is being used. I think right now it's like, huh. take this T1 and then take some shrines, if they possible. They their meta, so they need to get more. One tower is not okay. enough. They want to. Yeah, they're gonna go for that second. Because after this, then Cloud9 can easily fight into them. They need to get as much as they can. They're gonna be the ones who are weak. If anything, they may lose Roshan because of this metamorphosis. So definitely a bit concerning. How much damage can be done behind okay, so TP. this Roshan should be Cloud Knight's Roshan. TP is oh, no, Envy. Metamorphosis is still up for a little bit longer. Uh, okay. Loka just is going to ditch. Envy, Dream called up. So they, Full should, on they should get Roshan. Yeah, they should get Roshan. Yeah. Cheese, throw Aegis. Necrobooks go scouting, but the, the real objective is Roshan. They use double ultis though, so we won't see IG able to contest this one. And without Metamorphosis, there's not a whole lot they can do. But still, they, they are gonna have, let's see, 78 seconds. So they're gonna have Metamorph up before DP, LT, and Shaman, LT is up. Only by like a so very they, they'll small have like amount, a 20-30 second window. I mean, it, I they can capitalize on it. Because they're gonna have Ravage, yep. Coil, and everything up. You think they'll try and take a fight right that, that, that was what they up. did just now. Yeah. So I think maybe they can. That's like enough time. 20 to 30 seconds is a lot of time in Dota. IG showing they're a very smart team. They've been kind of playing from behind against this push draft all game long, but all it took was one world time team fight. They took a lane yeah. of racks. They're going to wait for the Tide to get his bling. He's going to get it after this camp and another camp. He needs two more camps. And yeah, I think they are probably playing. This is when you plan it. Okay, this is going to be out at what time. That's why you always try to write down the. You always want to write down the LT timings. Then you know exactly and precisely how much time you have. I mean, they didn't see where they use when they use it, but once the Roshan down, they roughly have. They a, have an idea. Yeah, yeah. They, you get an they, idea. They know they used meta way, well before the exorcism went out. Let's see. Let's see if they can make a smoke. They play. may not have a smoke left. They have a smoke. They have from? a smoke. Okay. Q yeah, has a smoke. Q. The Voka's already looking to fish around, scout some kills, and OP is pressuring bottom to try and force a rotation back to the fed. So they are setting up for this, burning... Hey, where's his dagger? He hasn't got his... He has to go for the dagger. They're gonna take the shrine for now. And he's just happy to show themselves. Perhaps that's gonna be all they're gonna get. So how much time do they have still? Um, they're still like 20 little. seconds. It seems like they're just not gonna use okay, this. not time. enough time now. Yeah. yeah. So burning just gonna continue to farm. His next item may be what he's kind of eyeing off more than anything. He is... What is he buying? Farm, but not... Ridiculously farmed. Hasn't shown yet. He got the, the Dragon Lance. The Scardi or the BKB seem like the, the two yeah, options. I think, Sc Scardi's, I think Scardi's better here. Because there's Doom and DPLT, you don't care, you have BKB. But then the Silence is very annoying. The Night Stalker Silence, the DP Silence. He has got the uh, the Manta for that, I guess. But oh, he's like, probably going to use it to do exactly, damage. Yeah, he wants to Manta. Oh, they see Boboka. Necrobook Tree, my friend. He's not going to TP out. Oh, uh, snore. Okay. No, he's well, not going to this one. Sure, uh, four staffs. Uh, he's got a dream call there, but without a TP, Bavoka cannot survive. Okay. So that was a Lycan it's, ultimate committed. That was uh, an, and I think equally important, the Necromorph, which will expire before they get to this. Yeah, that's top, actually true. There's quite a few cooldowns being used for that. Bernie gets Diffusal, actually. Diffusal. So what's the Diffusal? Just damage. Just damage, yeah. Damage. This is one of the... This is damage without the survivability. Yeah. And it's also cheap. Like, Scotty costs a lot. You're not going to finish that all that but fast. But it gives you everything. Like, damage, HP, some yeah. armor. It's like the the well-rounded item. They are still going to threaten this top lane. We talked about not having yeah. the Necrobook. It seems Cloud9 think that is not going to be a problem for them. 35 seconds. Yeah. Oh, well, IG, they're going to get back to the fan. Blink Dagger on Tide. They're ready to initiate. Maybe they want to jump and try and hit the Shaman before he drops the ward. Yeah, they have to try and do that if they can. It goes Fata. Yeah, it's probably too late. Can he stop the wards going down? The answer is going to be no. Fata getting brought very low to start things off. In goes XXS, hits a Ravage, catches four, no, catches five. The perfect Ravage. Fata is going to die. He's got ages, but no more Exorcism. And AUI melting to the Metamorph of the TB. TB then going to go into the Doom. He is also feeling very squishy right now. Doomed up Terra Blade can still stand his ground. Right click and Cloud9 are going to be repelled. 
and be considering re-engaging with his Necrobook, but that just does not seem feasible right now. Yeah, that Ravage was too good for, for Cloud9 to handle. Man, Ravage. And Necrobook was not available. I think that was yeah, that was that was obvious. They needed to have the Necrobook they, up. They Could have gotten the tower. Yeah, they also just need to stop that be tide. Because blink. the book will scout the yeah, it will scout the tide, and yeah. you can maybe get a mana burn off and annoy him so he can't blink. Yeah, having the Necrobook is definitely gonna change the fight. They, they initially, like when Death Prophet walked to the high ground, they got vision of the tide. Mm. Another thing they could have done was uh, the Stalker was, I, I think he wasn't in the optimal position. He was in Correct. front of the tower. He should be around the trees and trying to use the Hunter and s to scout the the tide. Just I mean, silence him and yeah, then Drop an urn or silence him, yeah, do something yeah. to stop him. Then they could eat, safely take the tower. I think the push was correct. Just that uh, they needed, maybe they could have waited one more wave. Uh, for the Necro book and maybe the Night Stalker. Those are the two things they could have done. Yeah, the execution was definitely not bad. I mean, if they'd waited a little bit for the Necro books, they even got the Doom on the TB is definitely good if you can get on, like, initiate on him. Mm -hmm. It stops the Sunder, but they just got caught by too big of a Ravage. So now the game is gonna become quite hard for them already because that fight was very significant for IG to win. They are gonna be able to get one more item on the. the the TB. Is he going up? Yeah. Lincoln's or Scardi? We'll find out in some time, but. Uh, let's see. Lincoln's. Scardi. With the diffusal, I, he I has a lot of damage already. Lincoln's is actually not bad. Quite yeah. good choice. I quite like the Lincoln's here too. But again, I think either option is going to help him a lot. I'm not sure there's a clear, obvious answer for him. Definitely, that's a fight where you're like, yeah, that diffusal paid off. Because oh, he, he was kept alive and. It does just so much damage at, at its Wait, price point. Wait, he just got his BKB on the DP. He didn't have it in the last fight. He definitely oh. didn't use it. It's a 10 second BKB still. Oh, could have been. Would have been yeah. nice if they waited for that too. Uh, no, just committing the. Uh, it, it's not really an Aegis that got much use because when Fata respawns, he doesn't have the Exorcism anymore. Yeah, he got busted down. Their the line of backs, he doesn't do get much value out of an Aegis. Like Death Prophet, you respawn, doesn't help you. Lycan, your shapeshift, you can only use on one of your lives as well. Yeah, if anything, you want the cheese on DP and. Yeah, Aegis on, yeah, maybe Aegis and Lycan. Yeah, the cheese was actually on the, the Lycan. You know, if they had, would have done that, I think the other thing they could do is uh, the DP sit behind, they drop the wards, and the Lycan hit the tower. <laughs> That's what they could have done if they had the Aegis on. But nevertheless, right now the next fight for them. Key items, they have the BKB up. It would be nice if they can finish the Shivas, but I'm not sure if they have time for that. They're going to have to take a fight soon, because Roshan is going to be the next coming upcoming objective. Um, Envy is almost he's not really that that near his AC. One K, one K plus more. Those are the items. If they can get the AC and Shivas, it will be a big upgrade for their fight. The other heroes, I don't think, can get like any meaningful items anytime soon. Maybe the BKB on too. Yep. But uh, right now it's crunch times. You know, very tense moments. One fight, the, the, the game is going to be like one fight away. If they lose one more fight, Cloud9 will lose the game. But if they are able to win the next fight, they can get Roshan and maybe push the high ground and get one set of Rex. Yeah, so it's going to be very important that they put up, I think, vision around Roche Pit now. Because Roche is going to be very important. They have a gem on the Stalker, not sure if we talked about that. Okay. Way of dealing a little bit better with this Nyx Assassin yeah. of Boca. Do they have wards up? Uh, Shaman have wards? No, no ops, so they can't really con. This area is. Look look at their sentries and wards. Yeah. IG's. I, this is IG's territory here. Chip away. They take the shrine now. Oh, that's big. That's big yeah, for that's, the rush. That's that TP access point. You have to buy back someone, buy back on someone. Yeah, and the and of course the quickly. region, the hill, the fountain. Yep. <laughs> that is very big for IG to be able to take that shrine out. Very important shrine for the next objective. They're actually gonna. IG are pretty close to a couple of nice support items. Like the Nyx Assassin almost has his Lotus. Uh, Lotus, yeah, he's e two hundred away. Two hundred, yeah. Can disassemble the Arcanes for it. Tide is also close to a Lotus. He's just maybe six or seven hundred away. If you want both of them needing to disassemble their arcane boots, but definitely, I think, in high consideration. You talked about how hard to deal with these silences can be. Well, and then you've got an actual way of dealing with them. You're going to have a Lincoln's on the puck. I think oh, you're actually close to some very Skadi. impactful items. Ooh. Man, that is not good news. Yep. He's just split pushing now as well. Sends the illusion on top. Someone has to come back and defend. But problem I is, I don't think they can. Yeah. 
Here come IG, ready with their ultimates. The Dream Calls caught just the Night Stalker for now. Doom goes out onto the tide. This could lead to a fight here. Envy's charging forward. They want to go and the TB, but he is just too damn tanky. The Grave on Dazzle keeps himself alive a little bit longer. No casualties just yet. It looks like Q will end up going down. TB needs to find a stun to target. Farta, BKB, oh, Sunder is going to come out, and Farta gets brought low. Can they actually finish him off? The Spirit Siphon helping out. Nice stun coming out will bring down Pi Lai Dai. I think Pi was charging forward, hoping to disable that Terra Blade. Might see a Ravage, might not see a Ravage. Yeah, Ravage just um, catching the Doom. He was looking for more AUI, even getting out in the trees. That was that was not too bad in the end. For OP, though, he's caught more. He's caught far to Can they cancel this one? No, it's oh fine. God. That was actually Use still okay. Stuff. I thought it might actually turn out that worse for them because the Tide didn't die. Yeah, it looked like Cloud9 might lose three, four, five heroes there. Yeah. He was a bit hesitant yeah, at first with the Ravage, and he got silenced initially. but. They didn't get too big of a ravage here. They got two kills. Uh, Roshan should be theirs. For IG, you think? Yeah, I think IG can take this now. They haven't got the Metamorph, but they still do some pretty big damage here. And That Blightstone yeah. on the Dazzle. <laughs> 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 That's the value. And right now, Cloud9. Can respawn. they contest? Uh, they they have the wards, they have shaman wards. They don't have exorcism, and that means uh, Death Prophet just doesn't offer much, only has one spirit siphon charge as well. Yeah, this rush is. Where is that sentry? Kill that, kill that wolf. Uh oh, it got out, out of sentry range. Uh, Come here. Here comes oh, AUI. Anchor smash, Anchor take smash. Oh, they're backing off, yeah. they're scared. Tide's gonna lose most of his mana. Dream Call does catch three. Can they re-engage without metamorphosis? Oh. They are pretty weak. Oh, they're gonna no. They don't have enough damage. They couldn't finish out on time. Envy yeah. considering going in. Oh, the Roche. To stun up MSS, but he is very, very tanky. And Roche Roshan is, is dead. Die. Who's gonna pick up the Aegis? It's cheese. It's just sitting there. IG can't really get in there. It looks like yeah, Fata gets the Aegis. Picks up the cheese as well. Cloud9, feeling strong now. Exorcism will be back up soon. That was a oh. bit of a mishap from IG. I, don't, I actually didn't expect them not to finish it on time too. I thought they had enough damage. No they metamorph, did not. No, no medallion. Ma yeah, no metamorph, no medallion. The Dazzle didn't ha finish his medallion. And the crazy thing is, Cloud9 weren't going to be able to Roche either. They didn't have Exorcism. They only got Roche because IG did all the hard work for them. <laughs> it's like, you're the guy loosening that, that, that jar of cherries. You don't quite get it, but you give it to the other guy. And he's like, oh yeah, you loosened it for me. I'll take that. Well, that's life, you know. Sometimes shit happens. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, IG, we've seen this Aegis and Cheese has not been a problem for them. Again, the Aegis will go on to Fata. I mean, it had to just be picked up. It wasn't, I think, much time to really consider who's, who it's going to be best on there. So, they have their AC and Shiva now. They're actually very strong. Yeah, very, very strong now. This is now. where that TB damage output perhaps Let's feel quite AC, as strong. AC, Shiva's drums, they are very, very strong. I think... This is something that you need to be very careful now if you're IG. You don't want to un underestimate them now. Even though they won the last few fights, but this is a significant upgrade, the Shiva's AC. Yeah, IG have got some great defensive items that make them a lot harder to kill, but their ability to dish out damage is definitely negated. Oh, look at this top tier 3 tower. Oh, they're smoking. Almost. They're gonna go on them. Yeah, they want to try and jump and take a fight here. No Serpent Wards for 15. It is daytime uh, being the big thing. A minute. And it's 30 seconds. seconds. He's, yeah. he's gonna have his ulti. That's true. They, well, they do not have much room. It's like maybe another 20 seconds time. I don't think they're gonna find much. Puck just reveals himself. IG gonna be a smoke thwarted. They should. I think they should try to slow the game down and just wait wait out the Aegis. I think that's probably the safest play right now for them. Pick whatever heroes you can for. If you see a guaranteed pick off. You go for it, but if you don't see a guaranteed pick off, you try to avoid any, you know, head on yep. confrontations. And you wait out the Aegis. Uh, I think they probably should wait for BKB. He has. Yeah, he should have it now. He can sell the. Very close. Sell the Aquila. Yeah, yeah they should. They should, right. they should just wait. They should not no, do anything now. And C9 wants, on the other hand, the other team that wants to. Do yeah, something. No. I think the, if anything, this is where a lot of other teams would just be split pushing. If this was yeah. TNC or Cloud9, that TB would be split pushing this uh, top lane puck, constantly. The puck will be in the middle here, cutting the wave. Yeah, yeah, puck would be cutting the mid wave, TB would be split pushing top, the Dazzle would be split pushing bottom, you know, that five position would just be like, yeah, I'll push this lane for us. If they come for me, they come for me, yeah. <laughs> you know. Exactly, okay. and here go Good Cloud9, course. they're on the high ground. With Serpent Wards Exism, this is a hard defense. They have got TB illusions to take out some of these Serpent Wards. 
And also D Ward. They are going to slowly chip away at these wards, and Fata does need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, he needs his cheese in his inventory. Yeah, he's got a TP scroll there, but I feel like that having was an Aegis. Actually, okay. Losing only the tower. Yeah. Right now, they, they can just run at them. Tier 4 is though, getting uh, brought down back yeah, this is. I, I don't one. think they did enough damage, this is not good for Sinai. IG smoke up Sinai should, should, should have gotten more, now IG can just fight them, no ultis. I mean, they smoke, but I, <laughs> Cloud9 are like, yeah, there's spells being thrown, we don't see any heroes. They've got to realize what's happening, but there's no ult. I mean, they could just run But right they can just run lane. in and take the Rex, lane, yeah. no. They're going to run in and take the mid lane Rex. Envy doesn't actually have ultimate for 40 seconds, he just uses... Hey, what what, what can they do? Do they have buyback? Who has buyback? What, no. you, what do you care about an Aegis on Death Prophet when there's no exorcism? This is actually a really big uh, problem. They have a buyback on Lycan, maybe he can show his first life. That's looking like what's going to be the case. Ravage catches three as they blow up Envy instantly. Uh, they might be able to hold here, no Ravage now. They're going to lose at least a tier 3 tower, the silence goes out. Cloud9 taking big damage with Ravage down. This fight gets a little bit easier. Silence comes out. AUI gets hit by the Impale. That's going to be hey, enough to bring him down. He, he has to do something. I mean, they may just focus the building, so ignore the Death Prophet if you're IG and try and take the racks, but they are being zoned out of the base. Ty getting very low. Oh, they down. got the Doom. Doom on Burning. On Burning. Burning is Doom. Burning will not be able to do a whole lot. He does not want to turn and fight. He wants to just get away from this Death Prophet. But IG, I think... Uh, okay, okay, no one's dying. Yeah, no kills and <laughs> IG again just making the the better movements. Wait, I guess they because they lost their night stalker, no one could hold anyone back. Because Shaman did not have a dagger. Well, just going straight into that Aghanim Scepter. There will now be a window to push without Metamorph, but the lanes are just not in a good spot for that. Oh yeah, they don't have any jump, yeah. Now I just realized no dagger on Doom. No dagger on Shaman. And Night Stalk is just not a really reliable they, it's not an initiator. They can't at this actually point. Yeah, that's true. A dagger on Shaman would have been really nice. Like, do, does he actually need more of the sieging power right now? Like, they need the catch yeah. into a, they need the catch into a push, oh. not more push. Bottle, where is it at? Where's the, where's the <laughs> bottle, Puck? Where? Give it to Burning. That's a DD rune. Puck may just bottle himself. I feel like no, you, you yeah, nah, you gotta give that give to Burning. He's gonna have DD. He's gonna have DD and, and the BKB. BKB. Oh, the dream, Pucker, the dream. Burning is gonna be feeling it right now. About to hit level 20, we'll get some extra Agi with that. Oh, Doesn't he, buy it, buys he finishes the, uh, the pike. pike. Oh, okay. he wants to keep pike. Fair enough. <laughs> Safe player, bro. Maybe he could have bought BKB and had buyback. He had six, did, does, 6k. Did he have enough? Yeah, he had like 6k or something. Oh, yeah. He had enough. Okay, that's good. Just raiding would... the pike. Uh, okay. Wanting that four star for Bill. I mean, there's no catch, so the four star. There's slows if they get on top of you, so you just need to get away from them. And they realize, hey, Cloud9's going to do that. Same shenanigans, right? Yeah, we have 20 seconds more to buy for the Ravage. And they've got Metamorph back up now, so it really feels like Cloud9 oh, actually can't do this. This is a game of cooldowns, man. Oh, I just realized that they did not have catch. That's actually a huge deal for their lineup. Cloud9 are just not using their cooldowns as effectively as IG oh, right because now. Because they don't have catch, you know. Like, in a cooldown base, like, this kind of push draft, you want to have some way of catching the opposing team, so you can create the opportunity to push. But if you're not catching anyone out, you're just like pushing here. Pushing. And IG have three catch. Every yeah. time they smoke, they're getting big objectives. Envy does not have buyback. <gasps> well, you talk about <sighs> some. Okay, that is the game winning <sighs> catch. I think That's I don't. I'm not sure if they can hold for any second. IG have just had so many smokes to use the last ten minutes or so. Shaman like is going to try and split push and force oh, them back top. Not sure how well that's going to work. They can team. Uh, he's going to use his watch to defend here. I think. Yeah. Feels necessary. I don't ex actually think they can defend mid. We'll have to wait and see. Vision being laid down by Cloud9, but Ingo's burning. Manta, Metamorph, DD Rune. Okay. Say goodbye to your buildings. I don't think Cloud9 can defend. It's nighttime now with AUI popping the darkness, but. Game what is over if they don't do anything. Do? What can they do though, Winter? I mean, they have to try. If they don't try, yeah. then just GG out. True. Well, they're gonna. Fall back, give up the Mega Creeps. They see that Blueberry Rune on Terra Blade, and they're not done. They're like, well, you're going to give us Megas. How about, will you give us your throne? Cloud9, you there? Anybody home? Knock, knock. Here comes Burning, the big back Terra Blade with the DD Rune pounding away on your throne. Cloud9, like you say, they've got to do something. They throw down everything they've got to try and deal with Burning's Terra Blade. He gets full stuff out of there. We'll have a Sunder if he can stay alive. Highlight I trying to get the shackles. Nice! Coil catches everyone. Four-man Coil, two-man Impale. 
Cloud9 unable to catch or lock anyone in place. Can they Ravage. get it? Oh, Incoming. Lotus of here comes XXS. Forced up to the low ground, but Boca is still okay. Envy has respawned, but this does not look good for Cloud9. They're down Mega Creeps. No more exorcism to play around, and this could just be the end. Even with Metamorphosis down, it just feels like IG have everything to end this game right now. Highlight die, Mana Burnt impaled, brought down. It's got to be GG. Cloud9 will make one last hurrah. Uh, he's still holding on his Ravage. <laughs> Very <laughs> patient. Here we go. Doesn't have a Blink Dagger. It's game oh. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's like, oh, look, something else cancelled it. I can't. I I've got it, guys. It's coming soon. I... Oh, he, won. he gets doomed. <laughs> he gets doomed. <laughs> Meanwhile, Burning's like, all right, guys. Do we, do we get the throne? I think we can just get the throne. Burning is going to end the game. SSS <laughs> did not even get the Ravage off. <laughs> but... People say patience is a virtue, but this guy is too patient. <laughs> he's, he's, you know he's got the patience from Joe and his chat wheel. Very interesting game though, like uh, yeah. a lot a lot of like battle in terms of decision making, taking down ulti cooldowns, the timings. I think IG, despite not having a good laning phase, they played the mid game well, well, very well. You think fact. itemizing towards some catch for Cloud9? Yeah, I think the lot. catch, the catch yeah. was lacking. No dagger, no shadow blade. Like shadow blade on Doom maybe would have helped, or dagger on Doom, yep. or dagger on Shadow. Sh I think Shadow Shaman should have gotten a dagger in hindsight. Yep. After I f look at the game, I feel he. I don't think he, he never finished his acts anyway. Because this is the thing, you know, like this is the uh, I see this uh, concurring problem for C9. A lot of their games, they have Lich, Night Stalker, Lich, Trian. They don't have that dagger catch. So they win their lanes, they try to push, but after that, they can't... When the enemy tries to split or tries to take like fights, they lack that first move to kill someone and to start a favorable fight for their team. Oh. They're not building enough uh, catch, I think. This is bad news for Cloud9, who currently sit last place in their group with just one win. They desperately need to start putting how, how together many, some more. How many losers can, uh, loss can they afford now? Is well, this there's, uh, there, I think there's also Hellraisers in their group who also only have one win. I think their group is... I mean, they've still got a lot of games left. That's the way to look at it. There's still lots of games to pick up wins, but you've got to start somewhere. They versed the, tough, the top four teams in their groups already. They've got to now start beating these other teams in their group. So we're going to see if Cloud9 can do it. We're going to hop on ourselves into game number two and bring you guys some more Dota 2 action soon.